this video will cover the basics of patient and portal positioning. Adequate patient positioning establishes a favorable environment for achievement of optimal outcomes. To achieve this, the following materials are needed. The patient is positioned on top of a pink hip pad, which creates friction, allowing for a postless hip scope. The soft padded boots are tightly wrapped around with a coven wrap before being set in place in the surgical distraction boots. An additional coven tape layer is wrapped around the surgical limb, which had been previously secured into the corresponding traction boot. Once the surgical limb is secured in place, distraction is sought by pulling the surgical limb caudally with the goal of achieving 8 to 10 mm joint distraction. Upon assumption of adequate hip distraction, the leg must be positioned in 10 to 15 degrees and 20 to 30 degrees of hip adduction and internal rotation prior to fluoroscopic verification of achievement of the desired distraction. The patient should be positioned as depicted prior to draping. A non-sterile U-drape, chlorhexidine stick, 4 10 by 10 sterile wraps, and an antimicrobial ioban wrap are needed for adequate hip draping. After fluoroscopic confirmation of the desired 8 to 10 mm joint distraction, a U-drape is positioned, allowing adequate surgical side exposure. The open section of the U-drape is positioned facing cephalot, while the lateral vertical edge of the U-drape should be attached to the skin at the edge of its junction with a surgical table, and the medial vertical portion to the proximal and medial most aspect of the patient's thigh. After scrubbing the surgical limb, four 10 by 10 inch sterile drapes are placed on the inside surface of the previously positioned U-drape in hopes of establishing sterile boundaries. The superior and inferior 10 by 10 drapes should be positioned perpendicular to the patient's surgical limb at the level of the umbilicus and mid-thigh, respectively. The medial and lateral 10 by 10s are strategically positioned to seal off the surgical side square. Next, an antimicrobial ioban wrap is placed over the previously established sterile surgical boundaries. Sterile draping is followed by disruption of the hip's native suction seal by performing an air arthrogram. A 60cc syringe, 18 gauge spinal needle, and fluoroscopic C arm for adequate access verification are required for this step. A spinal needle is then used to perform an air arthrogram, allowing disruption of the hip's native suction seal while achieving an additional centimeter of distraction. Our portals are created at this point. We usually use three portals, an anterolateral portal, a mid-anterior portal modified to lie more proximal, and a distal anterolateral portal located six to seven centimeters distal to the anterolateral portal. Utilizing a spinal needle, the anterolateral portal is created under fluoroscopic guidance, placed one centimeter proximal and anterior to the greater trochanter of the femur. The aim is to direct it 15 degrees posterior and cephalate away from the chondrolabral junction and towards the estibular sorcel. Next, a 5.5 mm cannula A is inserted to gain access to the joint. The modified mid anterior portal is then crafted in an outside in fashion. It lies three finger widths medial to the anterolateral portal and within the safe confines of the arthroscopic triangle between the labrum, the femoral head, and the hips capsule. Another 5.5 mm cannula is inserted at this point and anterolateral portal checked for accuracy. This concludes section one of the present series.